uh, it's more important what our guys take away, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've had a lot of trouble uh, hitting with guys in scoring position. And, you know, it, like we were fussing tonight, just seems like the opposition makes it look pretty easy, you know. And then our guys get up there and they want to do too much. And, you know, you, you just – we got a young team and I'm just trying to get these guys to just relax. But, you know, that's a game that we sh – I think we should have – we could have won mm -hmm. if we'd executed. You know, if we got a one down, if we – not chase the ball 3-2 with nobody out, two guys on. Um, those, are, those are the lessons that you're trying to teach these guys. But for whatever reason, you know, we have trouble doing it, and the opposition's doing it all, <laughs> all day long. So uh, for us, it's a little bit frustrating. But, you know, when you have a young team, you kind of have to bite the bullet and try to teach and try to get these guys to understand. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully they'll learn something from tonight's game. But... Uh, we pitched horribly. We didn't. We didn't execute very well. We didn't play good defense. We made a couple of mental mistakes that ended up costing us three runs. And uh, you're just not going to win games at the college level like that. So mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully these guys will contemplate what we told them here at the end, and hopefully we'll be better because of it. I mean, what do you tell your team after a game like that? I can't tell you <laughs> uh, for for air, but you chew on them a little bit and you let them know that it's unacceptable. You know the. Uh, you know, the mistakes that we made, the pitches we swung at that were out of the zone, throwing behind, I mean, hitting run, base hit, throwing, trying to throw the lead guy out and letting the back up, the guy in the back pick up an extra 90 feet. You know, those are, to me, those are mental mistakes. Those aren't physical mistakes. And you can live with the physical mistakes, but constantly making mental mistakes kind of grates at you a little bit. So I let them know after the game tonight. But, uh, you know, all in all, I, I think we have a pretty good club, but they're young. And when you have a young team, you have to take a lot of time to, to try to get them to understand. So hopefully, you know, hopefully they understand a little bit better tonight. And what can you do? You know, you got big series coming up with TCU. What do you do to turn around and, and kind of change the, the momentum we after work, a game? We work at it. You know, we'll get to practice tomorrow. And, and some of these situations we went through in tonight's game, we'll work on tomorrow. The blunt play where they score two runs, we just talked about that on the bus today. Um, figuring we were going to play these guys two times, and sure enough, it happened, and, you know, it, it caught us by surprise. You know, mm -hmm. it got by the pitcher, and we never looked at the second runner, and by the time we picked him up, it was too late. And so those are the type of things you have to practice. You have to work on those things, and, and uh, we'll work on those the next two days and hopefully get us ready for TCU this weekend. And this team's been able to come back in a lot of games this yeah. year. Um, how devastating is a loss like that after you kind of inch your way back in and just a, a lot of little small mistakes, you know, well, not hitting a cutoff man? Yeah, those, those type are the things. types of things that, uh, you know, that's why you can't win a game like that mm -hmm. is because, you know, early on we made some mistakes. You know, we had, we had first and second, nobody out. We couldn't get the one down, first of all. And then we swung at ball four, and, you know, we had the bases loaded with nobody out. But then you still inch your way back to 5-4 mm -hmm. and feel like you have a chance. And, you know, that whole inning, it just fell apart. We fell behind hitters. Uh, you know, they got the hitters counts where you can kind of expect you're going to get the fouls ball. And we had to throw it, and they did a good job with it. They moved it around. So, again, those are those are teaching points that we'll, we'll talk to the guys about. But, uh uh, the only way you're going to get better is you got to work. You got to work at it, and you got to execute, and you got to get better at those things that we've been talking about. And uh, hopefully, it happens quickly. But you know, I've been fussing about the same things for about two mm -hmm. weeks now, so uh, it hadn't set in yet. So we'll work on it this week, and hopefully, we'll be ready for the weekend.